Happy New Year! <laughs> it's fun and games time at the farm. I know, we're gonna have a lot of fun tonight. We got some super simple, super elegant appetizers in little small bites for entertaining that we're gonna show you guys today. And it's gonna be a lot of fun. We're even gonna have some fireworks. I know, it's gonna be awesome. So stick around, see what we're up to. some stuffed mushrooms simplest recipe. love them so what do we got in there well we got some Italian sweet sausage uh, that's mild we've got some Parmesan cheese and we've got some uh, some parsley mm -hmm. and that's it that's it that's we it. just mix all together and then you're gonna take the ends off your mushrooms just kind of pop the stems right out and then you're gonna just grab a little handfuls of your stuffing. If you have a little bit of difficulty, you can use a spoon and you can clean it out. Be sure and wipe it off with a paper towel or a dry towel. Don't wet them because those mushrooms will absorb any moisture that you put out there. So just, you know, have some fun, play with them. Uh, let the kids help you stuff them. Oh yeah. And we're going to pop these in the oven at um, about 350 for probably 25 minutes. Yeah. So we're gonna get those in the oven. Mm, they're gonna be and delicious. See what happens. I hope it get work. those in there and then we're gonna be right back. And when we come back, I'm gonna show you a super easy, surprisingly easy appetizer that is gonna kind of shock you, I think. So we'll be right back. I asked Jen to make us some cheese balls <laughs> and she's gonna make us some mini cheese balls so that one is enough. One is enough. Okay, I actually like to call these cheese truffles. <laughs> so one of my favorite things for holiday treats is cheese and crackers. And this is something that I actually eat quite often. My husband and I will have just nights where he and I will just have some artisan cheeses and some good fancy crackers and roasted nuts and things like that. And I just, I love cheese balls. They're so, I don't know, there's just something about them. But I was always intimidated. I was like, oh, you know, I have to buy them because I'll never be able to make them myself. But I actually found out they're a lot easier than you might think. So what I've got in this bowl, I'm going to take this wrap off so you can see it properly. There you go. All right, what I've got in this bowl is I have a entire block of cream cheese. And you can use whatever cream cheese you like. Uh, the cream cheese that I use has Greek yogurt in it already, so it just adds just a little more boost of protein and a little more flavor and stuff like that. And um, so and then I have an entire pound of an artisan cheddar in there as well. Um, use for this, you want to use, you know, again, it's a holiday, and so we're kind of being a little fancy schmancy out here. And so you want to use good cheese that, you know, it's not going to be your everyday cheese. So go ahead and spend that extra two or three dollars on the good stuff for this. You could even put some of those chopped, um, those cherry, dried cherries, things like that in there. Mm -hmm. that would you just... can add anything you want in there. And really, you can add, if you want to make something similar to the port wine balls that we see every year. If you want to add some, um, some red wine, or some port to your cheese mixture, kind of like those uh, cheese balls that you find around this time of year, then you can certainly do that and it adds just a little bit of flavor and some color as well. A few years ago, we bought one that had port wine in it. Mm -hmm. And um, you have to remember the longer they sit, the stronger that is going to be. Yes. So, if you're not a port wine person, yeah, be aware of what it. If you're not a wine person, yeah, be aware right. it does get a little stronger after it sets a while. So what I just did here is I just um, chopped up pretty fine. I chopped up, you know, a good handful of pecans, probably you know half to three quarters of a cup. I'm just going to slide these onto my plate here. I'd say that's because, more of a quarter yeah. to a half. Somewhere around there. Doesn't matter. Anyways. All right. Now, this cheese mixture, when you get it mixed up, you're going to want to chill it so that it firms up a little bit because this is how we're going to make our truffles. This is our cheese truffles. If you've ever had a truffle, you know how decadent and amazing they are. I love them. They're my favorite chocolate treat. And this is a perfect 
savory version of that. So we're just going to scoop it out. See, it was a little hard to scoop out, and you want that. You want it to be firm. We're just going to give it just a little bit of a roll, and then I'm going to pass them over to her, and she's going to roll it. We've got some parsley flakes here that we're rolling some in, and then we got the pecans. You can use anything you want, really, to roll them in. You could chop up some dried fruit and roll them in dried fruit. Uh, you could roll them in some almonds if you wanted to do that. And those are really elegant. I've seen it where people have rolled them in paprika, and that's really festive with the red color. So you can pretty much do whatever you like with these. And you kind of have to press the nuts into them to get it to stick. Yeah. It's a little, a little harder than the parsley. <laughs> a little more challenging, but you know what? It, it's so good. Though. They're very good. And, and these, these are just perfect little bites. Bite size fact, nummies. Probably two or three bites, but that's yeah, these are two bites. We call these two bite treats because they take about two bites. And you know that's a good point because if you ever wondered where the title of our show comes from, Seven Bites, where that actually comes from is our doctor told us right before we had our surgeries that um, after our surgeries we would probably be able to eat about seven to ten bites of food before we get full. And we found that that's pretty right on the money. We usually, Still if, we, if we're eating properly, that is, it takes about seven to ten bites. And usually that runs about four bites protein, um, two bites. bites, well, three to four bites of protein, two to three bites of vegetables, and then if you're still hungry, a bite of starch. And then if you're still hungry after that, you go back and eat more protein. So, and that's kind of how it works with us. And Now we're taking a little bit bigger bite. But still, the small bites, we need to practice the small bites. We need it because we don't want the comfort bites. Yeah. And, in fact, Mom and I were just talking the other day about the comfort bite. Tell them what you told me about the comfort well, bite. Well, you know, when you're tired and you're or even stressed out and you come home from work, and maybe you've made a rice dish, which I don't eat rice anymore, but, you know, just as an example, you take a, a whole forkful of rice or a whole spoonful of rice you fill your mouth full and you suddenly think, I can't swallow this, you know, and or even mashed potatoes or anything that you really shouldn't be eating a big bite of. Mm -hmm. uh, and I catch myself sometimes and think, I can't eat, this is it, my stomach's full. Mm -hmm. So that even is a, a good thing to keep in your mind so that when you do take that bite, you can chew it and chew it and chew it so that it'll go down properly and you know just remember you have a small tummy yeah exactly treat it well and it'll treat you well and it doesn't matter what surgery you've had I mean whether you have the bypass or the lap band or the sleeve like mom and I do you just always want to remember in the back of your heads the smaller bites because that's what's going to keep you in the long run, it's going to keep you from overeating because even though our tummies are smaller or we have a pouch or however your surgery has left your your body, you know, we still can overeat. Can overeat. And so it's just something to kind of keep in mind is to keep those bites as small as, you know, as small as you can. Well, and you don't want to be at a Christmas party and say, oh, excuse me, and have to go, you know, yeah. whatever you have to do there. But All right, I think we're going to do one more of these. We, and we those are going pretty. To be pretty. They are pretty, aren't pretty. they? They're, They're real pretty. And, uh, you know, just remember what it's all about. Mm -hmm. We we work this hard to lose this weight. And to we be don't. healthy. We don't want to gain it back. Exactly. It's a tool. It yes. is not. It's not a magic pill. Not a magic mm -hmm. bullet. Yes. And I hear so many people on the Internet, on my, on people we know personally, well, I had it done. I won't have to worry anymore. Well, you do. Yeah, you have do. To worry. You do have to worry anymore. That's, yeah, that's not an accurate thing to tell yourself because no. I still have to watch what I eat. For example, if I eat carbs, I stop losing weight, and I'm still in my losing phase. I have not reached my goal weight yet. Um, so, and probably because I do eat more carbs than I should, because when I eat carbs, my body reacts to them. My that's body true. doesn't like them, and so I don't lose the weight. Well, and you know, common sense would tell you. With what we paid for these surgeries, why do you want to think about going back? Yeah, exactly. You know? it's exactly. Like, if you're a backslider, you know, yep. you've really got, you got problems. Exactly. But that's what we're here for is to give you support, give you help. If you have exactly. any questions, if you're having problems with that one or two too many bites, 
you know, leave us a message and we'll do yeah. our best to answer your questions. We're here for you, always. All right, well, now that we got our cheese balls done. Those are cute. We have another couple of uh, nummy small bites up our sleeves, and when we come back, we're going to show you a couple of them that you're going to love. I'm making a quick barbecue sauce to put on my Smokies that are wrapped in bacon. Yum, 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 and yum, 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 simple, you just pick your favorite barbecue sauce. And then we're going to juice it up. And you put a can of diet soda. You can use whatever diet whatever soda. You want. And if you're not into diet stuff, you can use regular soda. We're using diet root beer. If I'd have had Cola. anything. Cola. DP, whatever. I'm going to put it on over here and let it come to a boil. All right. And while she's doing that, do you want me to uh, go ahead and put these little puppies onto the platter put for you? Put them onto the platter. Okay. Because this is going to take a little bit. We can do something else then while this finishes and we'll come back and cover them with barbecue sauce. So we're going to... Oh, you've, you've got another treat over there, I've got you? another treat. You do. Do you want to see what I've I do. Got? I do. This is Jennifer's and her dad's favorite vegetable. Yes, well, one of my favorite vegetables. It's between it's between artichokes and asparagus, really. And, you know, we, we're doing, because it's a holiday, I do it for them. Now, this is an artichoke, and there is the choke right there in the middle. Yeah, and it's got to come out. You just reach in with your little fingers, and you pull it out. Because that it's part's the fibrous. not edible. This is the fibrous part that is really inedible. Yeah. These are in the um, cactus family. I did not know that. Yes, they That's are. That's interesting to know. And uh, so we clean that one out. I'm having and a hard time see. getting these little puppies on here. And yeah, see, they're so care. tender. What you do is they're you perfect. trim the bottom off, and you put them in water, and you boil them until they are fork tender. Now, did you add anything to the water? Or I added use? salt and lemon juice. Okay, why would why'd you add the lemon juice? Uh, to try to keep them from turning any darker than they oh, are. Oh, okay. okay that because makes sense. they do tend to turn dark. They'll discolor. And also, if you notice too, if you look at the top of these... I've trimmed them. The tops are trimmed because the tops are kind of spiky and you can poke your finger on there. And it's it's kind of well, owie. That's where they come from, the cactus. That's, yep. Yeah. And so I'm just cleaning off the top of the choke. I kind of ripped that one a little bit. but I have so many memories. That never bothers your dad. He no. just... In fact, really for us, when we had them when I was a kid and mom would make them, we never even trimmed them up. We just cooked them up and we just ate the leaves off. And when yeah. we got to the choke, we cleaned it ourselves. Well, my daddy cleaned it for me because yeah. at the time I was too little to clean my own. But And see, there is there is a spike on there. That is the cactus. Mm -hmm. That's that's what that huh, is. That's so interesting. You don't want to. I think we're good that. on that, don't you? Yeah. They look pretty. So I've kind of broke these. Mm -hmm. I'm not as good as Food Network people. <laughs> but, you know. but you know what? But that's. Pretty much, you get the general Just idea. Just proves that anybody can cook these. Yeah, they're simple. And when you eat them, what you're going to do is you're going to peel the leaf off, leaf off like that. And the edible part of the leaf is there on the bottom. And you scrape it on the bottom of your teeth like that. Mm. And what I'm making now. And all that now, meat just comes off there. It's so good. What I'm making now is just it. a little dip to dip that in because... Mm -hmm. Her dad just wants plain salad dressing. Yeah, he always used either salad dressing or mayonnaise, and that's just what we always that's dipped all. it in. And we never did anything fancy with it, just just that. Well, it was more like the leaf of the artichoke was the receptacle for the salad dressing. <laughs> <laughs> so, because we're not eating a lot of salad dressing, mm -hmm. I'm going to put about two, two tablespoons of, oh, nice. of lemon juice in with the salad dressing. Mm -hmm lightens it up. It's not quite as heavy as it was. And I'm going to stir it till it's smooth. And then I'm going to taste it. <laughs> You're the guinea pig. Cause I'm the guinea pig because I love I like marinated artichokes. I'm not so much on And see, these. I'm not so much on the marinated artichoke hearts. I like them fresh. Okay. Let's see All how right, there we go. See how this is doing. It's coming to a boil. Mm. I'm going to let it go. Then that I've dip got, is excellent, Mom. It's very, the lemon juice just adds a freshness to it. Oh, yeah. It's wonderful. It, it, it wakes it up. It does. It just kind of brightens it. It makes it happy, happy. 
I so like we're going to, we've shown you these two. I'm going to put the barbecue sauce over that in the last minute. And all we did with these, I don't know if we showed you this or not, we, we quartered a slice of bacon and then we just wrapped it around this little mini smoked sausage here and stuck a toothpick through it. And what we did is we actually baked these off at about 425 degrees in the oven until the bacon just started to kind of get crispy and the edges started looking good. And then we stuck them in our crock pot to keep them warm and they continued to cook just a little bit and just got... They're perfect. Unbelievable. And they're absolutely fabulous just like this. But this barbecue sauce that you're making the here... The barbecue sauce makes it. It's going to make it does. over the top good. Well, and using, using the diet drink in the barbecue sauce tends to... Re you know, remove a little bit of the extra sugar, mm -hmm. and um, it'll thicken down, and it just gives it a, it's just the best barbecue sauce you've ever put on anything, and it's simple. And it, it gives a homemade spin to a bottled sauce, which, you know, of course, homemade, I say it before, I'll say it again, homemade is always best, and really, barbecue sauce is not that hard to make, but when you buy, these are my husband's favorite. I'm stealing her. Stealing my thunder. Stealing her thunder. <laughs> We made the, uh, these the other day, um, one of the quick tips, we made the stuffed tomatoes. Mm -hmm. yeah, here I've stuffed that. them with, with Gouda, mm -hmm. and I've stuffed the, these over here with a little bit of Stilton. Uh -huh. And I had to have a little bit of Stilton. It's a little bit expensive. Is that but the Gouda a little and the bit. olive? And these are Gouda in, in Kalamata, Kalamata olives. Now, I don't mind Kalamata olives, so I'll give that a try. I'm not a big olive person, but I'll, I'll eat Kalamata olives sometimes. Now, I don't suggest using the Stilton in the olives because Stilton's a little sharp and the olives are mm -hmm. a little sharp it would be a little too much mm -hmm. but this way it works really well mm -hmm. so these That's are going I never thought about stuffing the olives with that and this is going to be ready in just a second it's going to be ready in just a second so. and look at all this spread that we have it's beautiful and we have so many traditions that we used to do on New Year's Eve mom and dad would always get us things like sparkling grape juice and fancy crackers and fancy cheese and they even would get caviar on occasion for us to try and sometimes that was very laughable our reaction with the caviar now this really probably and needs to yeah you're going to want to reduce bit. that down a little bit more but as it is right now it kind of makes a really nice little glaze i don't want to i don't want i don't want a lot on here yeah you don't need it doesn't need a lot it doesn't now, take a lot when my guests come i know that uh, my cousin Chance, he wants the barbecue sauce, so we'll have it ready for him. We'll to, have to have it on the side for him to dip. He drinks it. <laughs> he he does. puts it on everything. He does. I told him for Christmas I'd make him a jug of barbecue, barbecue sauce, sauce. Mm -hmm. and he puts barbecue sauce on his barbecue sauce. sauce. Yeah, yeah, literally. <laughs> so. Anyway, you get the Smells idea. Really this is glazed. I'm gonna try that one right there. Uh, Let's right put that one with me. No, you go ahead. Oh, okay. I'm going to go ahead then. I just ate that olive and I'm... <laughs> I'm going to put this back here. Does mm. that give it just the kick? Mm-hmm. That root beer in there just gives it just such an interesting twist on the flavor, and it's really good. And it's just... It's not something you think it's about. It's not something you think about, exactly. So these it's really good. are our little quick mm -hmm. appetizers when we have a group of family coming over. This can be used as a side dish, uh -huh. or a, as we're going to do tonight, an appetizer. And uh, I think these are good for anything. Those are good for anything. We'll we'll just pop, you know, the little smoked sausages into a crock pot with a jar of barbecue sauce, and away we go. Yeah. And that's a meal for a night for us sometimes. Especially so if you're good. playing cards or games or something. Yeah, exactly. It's easy. Now, coming up here in just a little bit, we're going to have a special surprise. We're going to have a few surprise guests, and we're going to give them a little bit of a surprise, too. So, stick with us. This is going to be really fun and possibly humorous, and, I don't know, Granny and I might get into a lot of trouble. trouble. <laughs> we get into trouble real often, anyway. So, we'll see you in just a minute. Happy, Happy New, New Year! We got our my kids <laughs> here. And we are going to let them try some special stuff here. Well, they know what this is right here. This is one of their favorite drinks. Let me get those other two glasses for Garrett and Kristen. This is my Emily. Mm. And we call her Mini-Me. 
Because, well, you can see why. Obviously, <laughs> hand that to your sister, please. <laughs> and this little man right here is my Jacob. And this beautiful young lady hey, right here is my Kristen. And this is my Garrett. Mama, I like it. You've, I know you do. You've had it before. All right, so I'm going to let you guys try something new tonight. Now, Emily said she wanted to try the black kind, right? I, want, I mm -hmm. wanted to try okay. both. You want to try both? All right, well, I'm going to give Emily the black kind. Do you want to start off with the black or the red, Jacob? The red. I'm going to start off with the red kind. Okay. His favorite color is red. His favorite color is red. Okay, so like I'm going to give you guys just a little bit. All right, so here we go. On the count of three, I want you guys to take, take a bite of your cracker with that stuff on it. Okay, ready? One, two, three. How's it taste? Mm. <laughs> well, it's fishy. You don't like it? No, it tastes fishy. It tastes fishy? Well, do you know what it is? Mm -mm. That's caviar. That's fish eggs. It's very expensive, and it comes from Russia, and it is a, it's a very decadent treat. Mm -hmm. And um, your granny did this to your mom and your Uncle JR you and don't your like Uncle it. Damon. Oh, you're dropping crackers. And, uh, now, I'm going to try some, too. Which one should I try? Should I try the so black or the red? Because I, I can't do that to red. you guys and not do it without. Okay, I'll try the red. I wanted you all to have, you know, to say, yes, I've tasted caviar. Would you guys like to try some? Would you um, like to try some? No, thank you. No, thank you. You sure? Oh, come Favorite on, color? Garrett. <laughs> I'm going to give it a try because it's been quite a few years since I've tried it. So I, want some. I have no problem with it. I didn't used to, anyway. <laughs> Looks like jam Do you first. like it? Are they crunchy? That I'm is sorry. Good. Let me try a cracker. I want to eat a cracker. I want to eat a cracker. You can good. eat a cracker. That is really good. It's very fishy. I'm glad okay. you like it. You can have the whole jar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I dropped mine. <laughs> Granny's making a mess. That's All right. Okay. Would either of you like to try an artichoke? Mm. Yeah. No. How about mm. a How about a bacon mm. How about a bacon wrapped sausage? Volunteer. Oh yeah. Mm. Okay. All right. I want yours to Open. Be. Open. I'm gonna eat this cracker. You can eat that cracker. Open. Oh. And he's gonna eat that cracker. She's gonna clean up her mess. Oh, now he's gonna reach over for a little smoky. <laughs> there we go. Grab it. Grab it. Go. Munch it. Mm. Munch it. Here you go, Jennifer. Thank you. Just look at that fish taste out of my mouth. I'm going to like this. Mm -hmm. You just mm -hmm. eat this part here. You are going to like that. Don't eat them. Okay, bite it. Don't eat the whole thing. Just bite like that too. I'm going to finish your cracker first. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining us. We are just so happy that you guys were here and... This is our season finale, but it is not the end of Seven Bites. We will be back in about a month or so with some brand new episodes just for you. We got Valentine's Day coming up. We got some great ideas that we're going to do for that. We got St. Patrick's Day. We got all of spring, all of summer. I and love it. Well, and if you have any questions or oh, if you're I having a problem I'm glad after you having your job. bariatric surgery, Leave us a message. We'll yeah. be glad to give you all the help that we can. You can comment. You can email us. We're here for you guys. We've said it before. We'll continue to say it all the time. You guys are our lifeline, so we want to be there for you as well. So thank you guys so much for joining us, and we hope you have an amazing 2014. So Happy New Year from 7 Bites. Happy New Year. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year. Woo! Happy New Year. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Your stuff back here is bubbling. <laughs> oh, I, and Emily wants some more. Mm -hmm. That is, is good. Do y'all want to try? You want to try a tomato with the I don't like cheese. tomatoes. I know you. Another one, what? Kristen, do you want?